dying. He's saying, you know, Kalla ida waqila man rock. Right? So Allah is saying, now you are dying. Right? Allah is saying, tell me who can uh, stop you from, from dying. Tell me. Your time is up. Right? No doctor, no medicine, no hospital, no, no power in the world can stop a dying person from dying. Right? So here Allah is saying, waqila man. Man means who? Rock means savior. Right? So waqila man. Rock. Who can save you now? Wazanna annahu al firaq. Now here Allah thinks wazanna means that this dying person right, can see now that it is firaq time. Firaq means it's departure time. And why is he seeing? Because he's seeing the unseen world now. Right? So wazanna annahu al firaq, he knows it very well because with his eyes he is watching Malak al Maud coming to him. So he knows that this is the angel of death, right? So now he knows that this, I know this, this angel's job. He's coming towards me to, to take my soul, right? So, and then, well, tafat is saq of his saq. Now when the angel of death will start working on you, right? Taking your soul from your body, right? Like saying, ila rabbika yawma idhin masaq. He will... Your, your soul will be brought to your Rabb. Now I think Fala Saddaqa Wala Salla. Right? This person had so many choices in his life. Right? To make a U-turn, to make Tawbah, to start building a relationship with Allah, to start understanding his Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to start coming to the Masjid, yeah, to uh, be a better person. Right, a uh, true Muslim, he has so many chances, but Salah Saddaqa Wala Salah. But he never made the right decision in his life. He neither accepted Allah nor he accepted Prophet. He has his own, own, own life. But he kept on rejecting and he kept on showing his back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, brothers and sisters, the, the, the issue here is that as long as we go into yugar gharb mode, until we go into Sakarat al you have chances after chances to make a U-turn and guess what? Come on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? All doors are open for you. Right? All choices are open for you. Right? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah subhanahu alhamdulillah, has given us such good, good understanding. Each one of you, each one of us, has such good understanding of things that nobody can fool you, you know. If you have a thousand dollars in your pocket and somebody comes who is a, who, who is a you know, what you call it, a, a con artist, and he would like to lure you into giving him your thousand dollars. No, brother, you are so clever. You will not give. You will listen to him, but you will not give him, him uh, your thousand dollars. Why? Because you are sharp. You are, you are street smart. You know? you know that money, no, no. You can talk whatever you want to talk. But if, if you are trying to deceive me and get my thousand dollars, I'm not going to do, to do that. Why? Because I'm sharp. I have brain. I know who is uh, right and who is wrong, right? Who is honest and who is uh, uh, dishonest. Brothers and sisters, you, you are making the choice. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had ge- given you brain. Same Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, when you make choices about your religion, what happens to you? Where your intelligence goes? Where does your I- IQ level goes? Right? Because you have two different um, uh, set of principles. One for the world and other for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the world, you are very smart. Right? But when it comes to religion, right? You are not that, that much smart. That's number one. And here is number two thing, brother, I like to draw your attention to. So what is the choice that Allah has given to us? Right? Remember that. 
second thing is brother and sister when we are making a choice for, for ourselves and i need need your attention on this because so many among us make make this mistake when we are making choice for ourselves right don't make your choice right choice for your life right based on what people are doing yeah. if don't make that choice what people are doing your, ch your choice should be made about what your rub is saying you see because at every given moment in the world majority of the human beings are making the wrong choice for themselves right majority of them for example today's world right 8 billion human beings 8 billion human beings are living on this planet do you think majority of the human beings have made the right, right choice for their life no they have not so if you are following the majority of the world which is called the culture right if you are following global culture then you are going to lose sight of Allah and Rasul, definitely. Because good people are always in minority. Truth has always been in minority. Truth has never been in majority. Righteous people are always in minority. Right? Evil people have always been in majority. So if you tell, well, what can we do? This is the culture of the world. Right? This is what uh, we see everywhere. So I'm going with the flow. Brother, you are going to be doomed. Definitely doomed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching, no. Learn to stand against the tide. Don't go with the tide. Have such a strong Iman that you learn how to stand against the tide. Let people be swayed by the culture of the world. You as a believer should learn how to stand firmly against the tide. Right? And while you are standing against the tide, people will make fun. That everybody is being swept by this tide. How come you are standing? You are alone. You are foolish. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran said no. If you are right and you are alone, keep standing. This is a very important point, my dear brothers and sisters, which you should think about. Right? Muslims, right? On this planet was sent to follow Allah and Rasul and to show to the people what is the right way of living. Unfortunately, we are swept by the evil culture out there. And we console our heart by saying everybody is, is, is doing like this. No. Few ayahs from Quran, just for you to reflect upon. Ayah number one. وَإِن تُطِعْ أَكْثَرَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ يُضِلُّكَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ جزاكم الله وَإِن تُطِعْ Allah is addressing whom? Rasul Allah is saying if you O Muhammad Sallam will follow أَكْثَرَ مَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ the majority on this earth so if you are following the majority people on this earth يُضِلُّكَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ they will take you away from the right path to Rasul Allah is saying. Of course, Rasulullah will not be swayed by the majority. But by addressing Rasul Allah is telling you and me that when you are making your choice, don't see how many people are following this. But see, right, is it right? Right? Is it right or wrong? 
if if majority of the people i have accepted wrong right it it will remain wrong it will remain wrong right it will not become right because majority of the th people think it is right it will still remain wrong right another ayah regarding this can anybody help me with another ayah on this topic do not follow the majority anybody i'll tell you qul la yastabil khabith wa tayyib walaw a'jabaka kathratul khabith kathratul khabith then i said fattaqullah ya ulil albab underline ya ulil albab la'allakum tuflihun allah said o muhammad sallam teach muslims this important principle and brother this is allah telling rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam teach muslims this important principle what is that la yastabil khabith wa tayyib khabith means what evil tayyib means uh, piety righteousness allah saying khabith and tayyib cannot be equal khabith will remain khabith and tayyib will remain tayyib walau a'jabaka kasratul khabith Although you see that khubs, evil, is prevalent, is widespread, right? Or evil is in majority. Everybody seems to be fascinated by evil, and they have accepted evil. Allah said, still evil will not become tayyib. Evil will still become be evil. And Allah said, Fattakullah, ya ulil bab, o the intelligent people. Brother, what does ulul albab means in Quran? Ulul albab. Look, brother, lub, lub. The word lub means brain. Lub means uh, the gist of everything, right? So, so Allah is saying, ulul albab. Oh, people who are intelligent, who have brains, understand this: that you make your decisions for life based on what is tayyib, not because Khabis is widely accepted in the world. So, Fattakullah ya ul albab laallakum tuflihun. Perhaps you could be success, successful. So, my dear, dear brothers and sisters, righteousness, piety, tayyib has always been in minority. Right? Iman is there in our heart to stand up firmly. Against against evil, right? Allah said, "Qul ja al haq, waza haq al baatil. Inna al baatila kana zahuka." When you stand up firmly with haq, evil will 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 go away. Based on these ayat, my dear dear brothers and sisters, let's analyze our life, our lives. How many times we do good things? Right, and we know that you are the only few people who are doing the who who, who is doing the right thing, right? But why you are getting deterred, right, brothers? This is a time when the religion, all the religions have failed. All the religions have failed. Ramadan is coming, for example, right? Which community besides Muslims, right, is still adhering strictly to the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Jesus fasted. Do Christian fast? No. Right? Right? Jesus prayed five times to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Do Christian fast? Oh, pray no right they changed you and i the ummah is of rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam is such that we are still holding on to the sunnah of of rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam right brother do not give in to the the temptations out there keep on holding it, holding to the sunnah of rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam right because islam is haq 
don't change anything in uh, uh, in our religion i give you one example why is it that when we are praying we say allahu akbar why is it that when we are calling azan we still take the name of allah why don't we say god is great why is it that the muazzin doesn't say god is the greatest god god is the why is it that we are not changing the name of god of allah from allah to god think about it christian changed big time if you ask an uh, average christian american right that what was the word or what was the name for god that jesus used isa used he will say god you say brother God is an English language name, right? But Jesus spoke Armenic language. He did not use English. Jesus was not an American citizen. You know, he was not a Britisher, right? He was not from Canada, these English speaking countries. He was born in Palestine, raised in, 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 in Jerusalem, right? He was a pure, uh, you know, what you call Semitic speaking person. So he spoke Armenic. Semitic languages are three, right? Arabic, Hebrew, and Armenic. Of course, in, in Arabic language, we use the word Allah for Allah, right? We, we have not changed it. And, and nobody can change it, right? But if you type on Google the English, the word for God in uh, uh, Armenic, right? It will come what? Allah. Hebrew, Allah. Right? Go after Juma Salah. Type on Google. What is the Armenic name for God? What is the Hebrew name for God? And you will be surprised. Right? Now, Muslims are still holding on to the original name of Allah, which is Allah. We do not use the word God when we are doing zikr of Allah. We, we don't say Subhana God. <laughs> Alhamdulillah God. Alhamdu God. We, we do not know. We say Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah. We are using the same original name that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have named himself with. And even Jesus have used the same way. Musa alayhi salam have used the same name for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why should we change? Just because those people have changed, right? You are so fascinated by them, they say, oh, we should also change. Don't change. Keep your originality islam is unchanged quran is, is unchanged the sunnah of rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam is unchanged right everything is 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 unchanged and that's the, the the beauty of our religion all we need to do is have what conviction have iman that those people have changed we will not change when it comes to religion Yes, we will change according to the world as, as it goes. But when it comes to religion, right, we, we will not change. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you and me understand. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, subhanakallah, alhamdulillah, 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 alhamdulillah.